In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, it's all about templates. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to talk to you about the wonderful new feature that Evernote has only just released and that's called Templates. Now what Evernote has done is they have created a website or a page on their website where you can download and add into your Evernote templates that are pre-prepared for you and some of these include lesson plans, they include the GTD weekly review, they include the GTD project planning. There are many many different types of templates. I think there's about 30 in total but not only can you add new templates from the Evernote website but you can add your very own templates right into your very own Evernote account and this doesn't just work on your computer, this also works on all your mobile devices and tablets and whatever else you might have. It's a fantastic feature and it's come at a perfect time for me having just reorganized my Evernote. I did create a notebook for templates which I can now delete which is going to be fantastic and I can have all my templates with me wherever I go, whenever I need them. I can just call them up and it's really, really quite simple. And this isn't too bad for a company that's supposed to be in trouble bringing out amazing features like this. So without any further ado, let's get straight into Evernote and I'll show you all the templates and everything you need to know. Okay, before we get started with this, I should point out that you will need to be updated to the very latest version of Evernote. So whether you've downloaded it from your various app stores or whether you've downloaded it directly from the Evernote website, make sure that you have updated to the very latest version of Evernote. This came through as an update. So make sure that you're updated to the latest version. Now before we show you the templates I just should point out that we have actually got a few little changes up here in the top right hand corner. Now you'll see that you have this button here called share. If you click on that you can share this to whoever you want to share. That's really quite easy and you can also turn on a shareable link or turn off a shareable link. Evernote is moving a lot closer now to making your notes easily or more shareable than they ever used to be and I think that's a really really good thing. Okay I'm not going to share this note. This is for my English students because they're very frightened of the Q&A sessions of a presentation. But let's move into this section here which is the three ellipses I think they're called. Click on that and now we have a, all the things much tidier now down on this side here. So we can move note to another project, we can add notes to shortcuts, that's usually for when you're actually working on an iOS device. You can save it as a template which I will show you in a moment. You can annotate it, you can add a reminder, you can present it and you can find text or whatever from within a note or of course you can just trash it. But what I really want to do now is show you what, how to access the templates. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on a new note and what you'll see now is we've got the title in the normal place but we also have start writing, drag files or choose a template. When you click on that it will take you to uh, the template chooser. So here are some templates that I actually saved myself and these are templates that I've actually got from the website. And all I need to do is click on one of these and I can choose whichever one I want. So I've got areas of responsibility which came from the Evernote website. Weekly review again came from the Evernote website and a social media calendar which also came from the Evernote website. And then I've got here my student student template and I've got my my own personal weekly social media template 
and also if I wanted to I can now just click on here browse sample templates let's click on that and see what we get and sure enough we've gone to the Evernote template and it's just loading now and here we are in the and now this basically takes you to the Evernote website and there's 34 of them at the time of recording I am pretty sure these are going to grow and we can look at collections so we've got for work for school and for life and you've got categories like creative writing getting things done which of course interests all of us watching this video and you, this is where I got my areas of focus I've got my individual project and your weekly review now the one I haven't got is the individual project so if I click on view template so it's going to open up the template and what we'll find is that I can now save this template and they are beautifully laid out as you can see here that all the hard work has been done for you you can save the template by just clicking on save template and that has now gone oh I need to sign into my Evernote anyway once you've signed into your Evernote I'm not going to do that now because that's going to take time uh, because I have two-factor authentication but once you've done that you will then find that these will then be added as they were added here I did this from my desktop yesterday not realizing I hadn't done that on my laptop which I'm recording with so anyway basically you'll get them here I can click on any of these so I'm going to click on the let's do the weekly review click on that one and that now comes in and basically I can title it as normal and I can click in these fields and I can add whatever I want this is such a really cool way of putting anything you like into your uh, template folder and you don't have to store them because they're always accessible from within your Evernote. So hopefully that's giving you an idea of the templates. Now I'm sure from what I've been reading about Evernote aside from the bad news that we keep hearing that Evernote have a lot of big plans for the rest of this year and I'm sure this is just the start of many features that are going to be coming out over the next two or three months so I will keep you updated with them as and when they come out but this is a great step in the right direction it's something that I've been thinking about and if you remember actually from my from my uh, my video last week I actually created a templates folder which I now no longer need so that's something I can get rid of a folder which I will be doing this week okay thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video if you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.